Since 1970, Cobb County has allowed its students to smoke in designated areas of the school. Many parents were against this and wanted the school system to ban smoking entirely. Others said, leave the kids alone with what they had. Well, last night, the school board compromised. Starting in January, students who want the privilege will now have to obtain a permit. I think really the school's major responsibility in the uh, use of tobacco ought to be in, in educating uh, the students in the harmful effect of, of tobacco. And if we're not successful in that, uh, I think the policing is somewhat secondary to that. Wills High School won't be affected too much. It already demands that students carry a tobacco permit in order to smoke on campus. I feel like it's a step in the right direction. It's a positive step. It will bring all 10 high schools to a more consistent basis with the policy. And uh, I think that when all of us are uniform and consistent with it, uh, I feel like that uh, this would is what the public's looking for. Having a tobacco permit after January will not be all that's needed by Cobb County students. They will also be ordered to take a three-hour course on the dangers of smoking. School officials are not expecting that many complaints come January, but it may be a different story come next fall. That's when the Cobb County School Board is expected to put restrictions on smoking for teachers. In Cobb County, Ernie Bjorkman, Action News.